Welcome to episode two of Art with Miss Josie. Today we are going to learn about the American artist Alexander Sandy Calder. The illustrations that you are going to see are taken from the book Sandy's Circus, written by Tanya Lee Stone and illustrated by Boris Kulikov. Alexander Calder was born in 1898 in Lawton, Pennsylvania. Everyone called him Sandy for short. Sandy came from a family of well-known artists. His mom, Nanette, was a painter, and Alexander, his father, was a great sculptor. Even his grandfather was an artist. As a young boy at home, he was always surrounded by art tools. His parents, no matter where they lived, gave him a space in the basement to use as an art studio with tools so he could make things. His favorite was using copper wire, which he would find on the side of the streets and he would even make toys and trinkets for his little sister's dolls. His parents, though, did not want Sandy to become an artist. In 1915, Sandy went to school in New Jersey to be an engineer. He did very well in school and excelled in math, but he soon realized that his passion for art was too strong to ignore. So he went to New York to pursue his artistic dreams. He studied at the Art Student League with lots of other known artists of the time. His first job was for a newspaper, where he was hired to make drawings of the Ringland Barnum and Bailey Circus. He had to spend two weeks at the circus, and that's where he fell in love with the circus and would soon be a theme in his art. A year later, he moved from New York to Paris, France, where every artist knew was the center of the art world. Sandy was surrounded by many artists in Paris who used canvas as their medium. But not Sandy. He was happy with his wire and pliers as his choice of me. Sandy's friends were amazed by his sculpture skills. He could create anything with just a twist of a wire. While in Paris, he used his wire skills to create circus miniatures that he remembered from his time spent at the circus in New York. He made his miniatures from all materials such as cloth, string, wire, buttons, corks, and more. He made so many miniatures that it filled five suitcases full. So he began to put on shows for his friends across Paris. Sandy would set up a stage of all of his characters, get on his knees behind a curtain, and move each individually, putting on his circus. His shows at first were only for a few to see, but soon everyone wanted to see Calder's Circus. His show became so popular that he sold tickets all over Paris and in New York. And this really put Calder Mark in the art world. Sandy truly enjoyed using wire in his art. He called it sketching in air. These wire sculptures would be designed that they could even slightly move. In the late 1930s, he turned to making mobiles, which he was most famous for. These mobiles were made of wire, metal discs, lots of color, and would move with just a slight bit of air. Some were on the ground, and some were suspended in air. His larger sculptures he would make were called stabiles. They were quite large, usually his favorite color red, and made of large juxtaposed sheets of metal. Alexander Sandy Calder is one of the most important American artists of his time. His works are recognizable by everyone and can be seen in museums all over the world. His circus miniatures that he did in Paris, France, can be found in the Whitney Museum of Art in New York City. Have you been to the circus? Who or what do you see in the circus? And think about what or who you would have in your own circus. Well, I hope you enjoy learning about Alexander Sandy Calder. Now gather your materials and we're going to get ready to make our own miniature circus of our own. See you soon. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I was having fun learning about Alexander Calder. How is everybody doing? It's nice to see everyone. If this is your first visit here, welcome to our second episode of Art with Miss Josie. And I'm Miss Josie. So 
Did you enjoy our video and learned a lot about Alexander Sandy Calder today? He's a lot of fun, isn't he? He did some really cool things. Alexander Calder is one of my fave artists. I'm an artist myself and I love using all different types of materials when I do my artwork. So when I first came across Alexander Calder's circus, I was amazed. It was fun and exciting. And I thought this would make such a great project for kids. So I wanted to share it with you. So we're going to get to make our own circus. So, so here is the stage of our circus. Uh, when you go to the circus, usually all your characters are in the middle and um, you're in the audience watching. And um, so this, uh, this printout that you see will be available on my website for everyone to print out and you can use that when you're making your circus. So let's see, who should we put in our circus? Can anybody think of some of the different things that you saw in Alexander Calder's story? Of his, of his circus characters. There were clowns in there. I always see clowns at the circus. They always, they're there to make everyone laugh. Um, there's also people doing really kind of cool, cool tricks, like hanging on wires, and they call those trapeze artists. There's also sometimes animals. You may not find elephants anymore, but there are still some animals that you'll see at the circus. And they're usually doing fun tricks or they're wearing silly clothes. And there'll be all kinds of different people performing. They're wearing costumes and doing different tricks like juggling balls or, and making lots of other people laugh. It is a really fun thing to see at the circus. So those are some things that you can find at the circus. This is a picture of a scene from Alexander Calder's circus. What do you see? There's a lion in the circus in this one. He seems to be in a cage. And then right in the center is called the ringmaster. He is the one that usually directs all the circus characters as they do their performances. So let me show you some things that you can make. Okay, so let's talk about the different materials that you'll need to be making your characters today. So. One of the materials is uh, doll clothespins um, that you can find. You may have some around the house. Um, you want to get the ones that have a line in the middle because uh, it looks like this is the head and you can either make uh, two legs or you can make them into um, a girl or a boy or whatever character you'd like to. So we're going to use some doll clothespins for that. Um, for hair for our characters, we can either use yarn or what I love to use is um, needlepoint thread. It comes in a variety of different colors um, that can be easily cut with a scissor and you can make some hair. Um, some other things that you'll need is uh, lots of different wires. Um, you want to get um, thin wire that's easily to be bendable. Um, this one is a super thin, it's floral wire you can get at the floral department. You may have some wire that you may use for gardening. Um, also, if you don't have wires, pipe cleaners work just as well. You can get them in a variety of different colors and they bend just like the wires. Um, so they, they make great for the hands and the arms and some of the things that we'll need for our circus. Um, so that's another material that you're going to be needing. Um, another thing, some other things that you'll want to use, I have some wooden um, popsicle sticks, the larger size, and I'll show you what we're going to use those for. Uh, also some other scattered things, um, I have um, needle, um, sort of thread of fobs uh, that I had laying around the house that you may be able to use. Um, I have bottle caps. Uh, from water bottles that you want to use. Um, you'll see what great use they make great for wheels and whatever your creativity of, of your child um, wants to do. Um, another thing you'll be able to need to use for this project is find some fabric. It could be some fun t-shirts that you're not using or clothes that you're not using. Um, I had some polka dotted material, um, you know, something with stripes. It could be really anything. Um, this would be great to make clothes and um, whatever we need for our circus. So some fabric, you could also um, 
use uh, some felt if you have felt laying around your house. Um, there's some felt that you could use. Um, so those are great things to use. Uh, also, uh, foam. Uh, we have some foam sheets uh, that we'll be using. Uh, this pack uh, comes in an assortment of different colors. Uh, you want to use a foam that's super thin. Uh, this is really thin, it's really easy to cut uh, really well, and it's very flexible when um, you know, we're making our characters with that. Um, and then, you know, any other found stuff, um, uh, be using beads, I have these great foam beads. Uh, they have little holes in them, so you can stick the pipe cleaners and wires in, and I'll show you what we'll be using those for. Um, also, you want to be able to have some toilet rolls. Um, you know, we're all about, you know, recyclable materials, so the small toilet rolls, even the extra long ones for the towel, um, we're going to show you some uses, how to use that. Um, there's also, you want to use some bamboo sticks. These are really great. Um, use their skewers, uh, so if you have those, um, they have a point usually at the end, but these would be great to um, use for a variety of different things in our project as well. Um, and then, of course, you want to have some some paints if you want to paint your circus. Uh, you want to have some glue. I use Mod Podge. You can use uh, tacky glue. Uh, those are something that's really going to be super sticky is the best for this. Uh, parents, if you are, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be helping out. Um, you also want to have a hot glue gun. Uh, sometimes the kids, when they're making some things, if you really want things to stay well after they're done with them, you can use some hot glue to um, you know, in certain areas, but this is for, for kids, this is just for parents only. You do the hot glue gun while you use the glue um, for your circus. Okay, so um, let me show you our first idea to make uh, a character. So here is one of the fun characters that I made for my circus. So I'm going to show you how uh, we can put some materials together to make our own character. You don't need to make the same, but uh, mine is sort of like a little bit of a clown character. So let's start and I'll show you how we do it.
when you're done. So you can do some really cute characters. There's a, a flower in her hand. Um, she's got like a little, she's pretty strong. She can hold flowers and weight in her hands. Um, so it really depends your creativity. You could go as crazy as like, um, you know, if you wanted to add a hat, you can do that as well. Um, you know, um, so I'd like to see. show you some other fun things that you can add to your circus. Um, yes, we have these characters, but we need other things in the circus. So um, you can make a, a cannon. A uh, cannon is uh, sometimes at a circus where they shoot things out of. Um, I made this is my little cannon here. Um, and um, what we're going to use for those are um, your, your basic toilet tubes. Um, for the next projects that I'm going to show you, these are the large towel holders. I'm, you know, I'm sure there's really a lot of these laying around the house, um, and these are for your toilet paper. Um, so I'm going to show you some cool things that we get to do with these. on either side and then you can put your little character in there and you know feel free to color it and paint it as you wish and that could be your cute little
Okay, another thing that I'd love to show you, um, I did say to collect a bunch of different uh, size boxes. Um, these different variety of boxes can be cut out and used to make different things. Um, I'm going to show you how we made our stage. Um, and I made this really cool thing. Um, I made a little cage um, for our, our lion um, that we made uh, before uh, to go behind it. Really cool. See? Ta -da! And so what I did was I found a small little box. As you can see, I cut the back out. Um, I cut, it was a sort of a rectangle square box. I cut the back out and then um, I took off the lid covers, except for the one in the front, and then I just sort of kind of cut it and really kind of fun to make it look like a, um, uh, a nice fun circus uh, cage. And then I added the same thing we did with uh, um, the cannon and the car. I added two little bottle caps with the sticks, and then I used the wire. So what I did was I made four tiny holes in the top and four tiny holes on the bottom. And then sort of like kind of went in and out. I sewed it through um, back and forth. As you can see, I went up and down. And then I would come through the hole on one side. And what you do is feed it through. Oops. Feed it through to the other side. And then I would go to the bottom. And then it would go through to the bottom half. And then um, I was done. You know, so you do that back and forth, and then you can straighten out your uh, wires. Uh, and then I, I would probably then next uh, paint it, make it look really pretty. I can do some circus designs on it. So that's another great way to use the boxes. Um, to really use it. So as you can see, I made my own circus. Pretty cool, huh? So I took that box, and I painted it red, and I cut the front. Uh, so this way I'll be able to put uh, all my circus miniatures on my stage. I took two paper towel rolls and I painted them red and white. I used the backdrop that will be available to everybody on my website that you can print out and then you can just glue it in the back of your box. And one of the cool thing I did was I asked my local pizzeria, since I've been getting a lot of deliveries, I asked them for a small pizza box. And I made a really cool sort of like suitcase, just like Alexander Calder had uh, when he took his circus miniatures around Paris and New York. I named it Josie's Circus and I have all my characters in there. And I'm gonna show you some of the things and I'm gonna put on my nice little stage here. So let's see, I have my, oh, I forgot one other thing. I also took, um, I had a container of breadcrumbs and I cut it, uh, since it was really easy to cut because it was cardboard, I cut the top and then I painted it blue, so I had a nice little sort of place for uh, my ringmaster to go on. And there's my ringmaster, there you go. All right, and oh, up here, I have uh, red and white pipe cleaners I twisted together, and then I attached it to the two doll pins, and here's where you can name your circus. I have a little thing that says, welcome to the carnival. These uh, sort of stickers and also little images of circus and carnival characters will also be on my website for you to print out and you could just cut them up and then glue them onto your circus or you could just name your own circus. And right here what I did was I took a piece of wire and I ran it across the top. I don't know if you can see it. And I took one of my characters with her arms. I have her hanging on some wires. So she is an acrobat and a trapeze artist. Uh, they're the ones that kind of fly from one handle to the other. So I have her kind of suspended up there. And let's see what else I got. I got my clown character here. Oops, a piece of her hair just came down. Oh, and there goes the ringmaster. Sorry. All right. Okay, here is my clown. She's got like a really cool uh, polka dotted dress. And then of course, I have the character that we had did together that I'd showed you. I'll put her here. Whoops. Oh, okay. Uh, put her here. All right. Whoops. All right. We're going to have her stay there. Okay. That's good. <laughs> All the ringmaster is a little bit on the lopsy side. Okay. And then I have, of course, my strong woman. I have her with her weights. I can lift her arm up a little bit here. I'll put her uh, so, you know, you want to set up your own little scene uh, for your circus. And then, of course, I have my lion that I have. Rawr, he could be part of the circus. 
I don't have much space here. I uh, want to be able to be able to be able to see it on the camera. And um, I have my cannon that I painted. Pretty cool. And if I want to have my characters shoot out of it or just kind of has a prop. Oh, and also, um, and don't forget, remember, I made the, I showed you that cage I made. So I painted it red. I took two bottle caps and I painted them black and I kind of cut it up and down on the top. And now I have a little uh, spot that I can put my, my lion in. Pretty cool. All right. So that's kind of nice. I hope, uh, I can't wait to see what you come up with with your circus miniatures. I would love to see pictures of your characters. You can send it to me on my email at missjosieart at gmail.com. So I'd love to see what you come up with and then put on a show, put it for your family or your friends or, and then um, videotape it on your phones, have your parents and help you. And uh, I'd love to see those too. If you put on a little video, a show of your circus, I'd love to see that. Uh, you can post it on my Facebook page at Josephine DaCosta Art Design. Um, I would love to see that. I'll have all that information at the end of my video. So uh, I hope everyone enjoyed uh, learning about Alexander Sandy Calder and all his circus uh, miniatures. Uh, he was such a fun artist, right? So uh, look look forward to seeing everyone. Um, episode three will be available in, uh, in a week or so. Thanks, everyone. Send your pictures to MissJosieArt at gmail.com. And don't forget to post your videos and follow us on Facebook at Josephine DaCosta Art Design. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the bonus section of episode two of Art with Miss Josie. Our activity that we just did uh, is geared for a little bit of an older child, uh, I would say three and up. So if you do have a young one um, who's two and three and it feels it's a little difficult for them to do the activity that I explained, um, I have a great alternative. Um, in my material list, I put down a foam, um, a floral foam. You can find uh, four of them in a pack for four or any kind of styrofoam where the younger kids can get involved and it's not so difficult. Um, some of the little maneuvers are a little hard for little fingers. Uh, so you can sort of do another sort of Calder circus or do his mobiles, just taking some pipe cleaners and having them, it's really easy, just kind of have them poke it into the foam. They could go crazy with all the different pipe cleaners. You can make a rainbow by putting all the different colors. Um, you could take the wire um, and take some of the foam shapes and just poke it through. And it sort of looks like kind of Alexander Calder there's mobiles really cool and even the doll characters if if all they get is maybe some hair on there or maybe they just color it in you could just easily just poke it right into the foam and um, it'll stay so uh, this is um, a perfect alternative for the young kids um, that still want to do our activity okay thank you bye